Hi, welcome back to Barbecue 419. I'm your host, Matt. Uh, today is Football Sunday, and we are going to be cooking some chili today. My assistant and my daughter, Alana, will come from behind the camera some today. We'll be having her help us out. Let's go through some of the ingredients first on how we're going to make the chili. It is not a competition chili. On competition chilies, I don't believe you can use beans and you can't use fresh ingredients. We're just doing this at home for friends and family, so we are going to be using some beans and fresh ingredients. I'll go through a list of all the spices that we're going to be using here, but I wanted to point out a couple important uh, things that we're going to be working on first. One of the first things we'll start doing here is we're going to be roasting some poblano and some Anaheim peppers. We will be roasting those in the oven for about 20 minutes or so uh, to get a char on them. And at the same time, we're going to be smoking two pounds of 85-15 ground beef and about a pound of sweet Italian sausage. And then I'm also going to be cooking some bacon, not so much for the bacon itself, but for some of the bacon grease that we'll be using to cook some of our other ingredients uh, in our cast iron pan that we will put uh, onto the Kamado Joe smoker. Let's get to cooking. All right, one of the first things that we're going to be working on is roasting some poblano and some Anaheim chilies uh, that we bought over at the store. I like roasting these here in the oven. I have it set to broil at about 500 degrees. We're only going to be putting these in there for about 20 minutes or so, and we'll rotate them with a pair of tongs uh, every five minutes until we get about 75% of the outside kind of blackened. But my assistant Alana is going to get these loaded here into the oven. All right, one of the other things that we're going to work on here is we're going to be smoking some of the meat that's going to be going into the chili. We have two pounds of 85-15 uh, hamburger, and uh, Alana is squeezing out some of the, we're taking the casing off of the sweet Italian sausage, and then we'll be spreading this across the bottom of the pan. We want to create as much surface area of possible, as possible so we can get a good smoke uh, through the smoker on it. All right, so we got the Kamado Joe running about 300 degrees or so. What I'm gonna end up doing, and I have the uh, heat deflectors are not on it. I'm just gonna throw in a couple chunks of pecan. I'm gonna add the grates on and we'll put the, uh, the meat uh, onto the smoker here. Pound of ground beef and our pound of sausage. We're going to place this right on the smoker here. There is no heat deflectors. We got two chunks of pecan. We have the smoker running right about 300 degrees. We're just going to shut the lid down, let this cook for a little while. All right, let's give these a look here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we want. Just a little crust on them. We're going to rotate these once. Come on. You can smell those peppers cooking. That's the taste we want. Put them back on, get the other side roasted. Those will be all set. All right, the next thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna fry some bacon here in uh, the cast iron skillet that'll eventually be what the chili's uh, being cooked in. What we're really wanting to do with the bacon here is we want the bacon grease to kind of help flavor some of the other ingredients. But uh, Alana has cut the uncured bacon in half, and we're going to put it in the cast iron pan here. And then we will actually be utilizing the grill and putting this on our traditional grill to get the bacon cooked. All right, we're going to take a look at uh, the meat we have on the smoker and on the grill real quick. So on the smoker, as we said, we have the two pounds of ground beef. And we have the one pound of sweet Italian sausage. As you can see, the smoker's running right about 300 degrees. It's looking good. I'm not really concerned about the color or the temperature right now. I'm just looking to get good smoke flavor on it. Close that back down. We'll pan over here to our traditional Weber grill, also running at approximately 300 degrees. And inside that, we have our cast iron skillet and we have the bacon cooking in there. All right, so we have the peppers. Those have been out of the oven for about an hour or so. You can see the skin 
Uh, we've toasted that pretty nicely here. What I'm going to end up doing is taking out all of the innards here, the seeds, and really what I want is to remove some of the skin, remove some of the charred parts. I really just want the, the meat uh, of the peppers, and I'll be dicing those up and putting those into the sauce. All right, let's go check on our grill, check on our meat here. Still running right at 300 degrees. That meat has cooked nicely. That's exactly where we want it. That's about to come off. I'm sure that has a great smoke flavor to it. Let's double check our bacon over here as well. We want the bacon to really crisp up uh, and then we're gonna be removing the bacon and we just wanna leave, leave the uh, bacon grease in there. That looks good, just about done here. We'll let that finish crisping up and we'll get the bacon out of there and start putting the rest of the sauce together. So we just pulled the meat off the smoker here. You'll see uh, we have the bacon, it's crisp up nicely. If you look inside the cast iron pan there, we have about three tablespoons, maybe a little bit more of bacon grease that we're gonna leave in there. And there's our Italian sausage in two pounds of ground beef that we'll be mashing up before we put it back into the cast iron pan. We uh, scroll around here, so I've diced up the jalapeno pepper and a whole red bell pepper. And then those Anaheim and Poblano peppers uh, have also been cut up. Then we have one whole yellow onion that's been finely diced and uh, some about five cloves of minced garlic. So at this point, we're gonna start combining our ingredients, except for the meat, into our cast iron skillet. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take all of our vegetables and put them over into our pot with the bacon grease. And what we'll end up doing is putting all of this onto the smoker for about 10, 15 minutes until we soften up a lot of these vegetables uh, before we start adding the meat and the other ingredients. All right, so here we have our vegetables in the skillet with the bacon grease, and we're gonna add this right onto the smoker here. But we'll give it a little stir, and about 15, 20 minutes, we'll let the vegetables cook down. All right, so the smoker's running about 300 degrees. That's where we're gonna be, at. that's our cooking temperature, really, for the rest of the time here. And all we're doing is we're just gonna give the vegetables here a nice stir. Oh, that smells great. Probably about 10 more minutes or so on those vegetables before we start adding our uh, tomato sauce. All right, so meat. we've taken the meat out of the pan that we cooked it in on the smoker and just transferred it over to a cookie sheet. What I'm gonna end up doing is using a potato smasher and kind of getting this meat cut up. But you'll see, oh, you can even see there's a, a nice little smoke ring uh, on the ground beef there. You don't see that too often. But we'll get this meat kind of mashed up, chopped up, uh, get ready for it to be added to the chili. All right, so we just pulled our pot off the smoker there. As you can see, the vegetables have uh, softened up quite a bit, exactly where we wanted. And then we have our meat uh, kind of tenderized and broken up. And we're gonna add that meat uh, over to the pot here. The bacon, we are not gonna add until much later. I'm gonna dice up some of it and I may put a little bit of bacon in it, but that's not one of the main ingredients, main components. But as soon as we get the meat added over to the rest of the pot, we'll start combining the other spices and sauces. All right, so you can see we have combined uh, the meat in with the vegetables here. We're gonna be adding one can of tomato sauce. Let me get that in there. One six ounce can of tomato paste. And last but not least, I didn't say this earlier, we're gonna put about six ounces of zombie dust. It's a local IPA that we have here that I think adds a nice little flavor to the chili. Stir this all in and then we'll start adding our spices. Let's go through our spices before we get them added to the pot. 
So starting off, we are going to do two tablespoons of chili, chili powder. We're going to do one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're going to do one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one teaspoon of granulated onion, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and finally one teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. All right, it has been about two hours since the chili's been put together and on the smoker. We're gonna open up the lid, give it a stir. That looks great. Close the lid, give it a couple more hours. It is now about five o'clock. Chili has been on for about five hours. We're gonna open this up. I think we're gonna take, end up taking this off, let it rest for about an hour or so. That is looking really good. Let's give it one more stir. That has thickened up nicely. It smells terrific. So we're going to get this off and bring it inside and we will let this rest for approximately one hour. Brought it in off the smoker, just a shot of this before we cover it for approximately an hour. Spoon in here, nice and thick. Really smells nice and smoky. Can't wait to try it. You're gone. All right, some of you may recognize uh, Pitmaster Eric here as well. Uh, we did a uh, joint dinner tonight. Have some chili. We're going to have some pulled pork and some macaroni and cheese. But uh, let's look at the chili here real quick. Oh, boy. Ooh-wee. So that did turn out nice. It thickened up. We're just going to ladle a little bit out here into one of the bowls. We brought some fixins, uh, some of the bacon from the bacons that we did earlier that we used the bacon grease, just some cheese and some sour cream, but we're going to get this served up and uh, get to eating. All right, all we have here, a little Costco pork shoulder, uh, about eight hours at uh, 250, turned out pretty good, used the uh, barbecue 419 rub and then smoked some Costco mac and cheese. So maybe we'll go some chili mac, some pork. Uh, pulled pork and uh, mac and cheese. Looks like we're going to do pretty good tonight. Tune in next time. I couldn't have been more happy with how the chili turned out. It was the right amount of smoke. It was the right amount of heat. Just a great flavor combination that really turned out well. I think smoking the, the meat and having the smoke flavor on that meat and having that on some of the peppers and then cooking it on the smoker brought just the right amount of smoke overall to the chili where it wasn't over smoked and you didn't wasn't overpowering taste of the chili just the right amount and then just the right amount of heat as well with the jalapeno peppers and the cayenne pepper in the sauce I really think it turned out well we really appreciate you joining us here at barbecue 419 we'll see you again soon